I paid for all this with my credit card and was told there could be a new surcharge coming for credit card purchases. Retail experts and consumers tell me it's just one more cost being passed down to consumers. Cost of everything seems to have gone up. Food uh, for sure has already gone up. So this fee uh, is just another, you know, kick in the pants for someone that, that may not be able to afford things. Earlier this month, Canadian retailers were given the option to pass on interchange fees to consumers. Stores will have to warn customers first, giving them 30 days notice, but it means you could see an extra fee of up to 2.4% every time you buy something on your credit card. One Alberta shopper tells me he was told this week to expect more fees in November. She has said, are you paying my credit card? And I said, no, debit. And uh, she said, oh, because uh, November 1st, MasterCard and Visa, they're going to charge 3%. I, I think uh, consumers should start paying cash. The credit card surcharge could really hurt small businesses. I think a larger retailer that already has a consumer base is at a little bit less risk of losing consumers if they have good prices, say compared to another retailer. At a time when consumers are dealing with record high inflation and interest rates, this is one more thing to make keeping a budget impossible in these inflationary times. I'm a senior and I work part time um, and I, I'm, I don't have a huge income and everything seems to be kind of scrambling to put it all together each month. One important change, retailers have to give warning before they start charging. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.